Hi, fishy folks, and happy Fry Fry Friday to you. Hope everyone had a great fishy week. Had some good plans for the weekend. Uh, before we go ahead and get started with the video, do me a favor, smash that subscribe button, gently caress the notification bell. When we're done here, check out michaelsfishroom.com for guppies and plecos. Hey, uh, so today we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. That was facial recognition on my new iPhone, which I love, by the way. Today we're gonna be doing something a little bit different, as I said. I'm gonna be ranting. That's right, folks. Strap in, grab a snack and an ice cold beverage, and let's do this. So I talked about this a little bit on my live stream last night. I'll put a link somewhere up here to that live stream. Um, but there's a Facebook group called Fish Tank Enablers, which is like 50,000 people are in that group. And the group is okay. I mean, there's a lot of newbie questions and, and questions that I, um, I don't wanna say they're stupid because they're newbie questions, right? They're not stupid, they're just, I think people should know better. We'll, we'll just put it that way. And a lot of good help there. There's really nothing wrong with the group other than for me, I don't really go there because there's a lot of newbie stuff and there's a lot of people with um, very, very stubborn opinions. Their opinion is the only thing that matters, which I guess is that way in a lot of groups. So here's the deal. This post by, uh, we'll call him the OP, the original poster, was posted on Wednesday at 11.29 a.m. Now, here's the post. My friend has the most beautiful bed in a tiny cube. She refuses to take any advice and claims he lays on his side when they change the water and is happy when the water is cloudy. I feel so bad for him. He has no heater. I may offer to buy it, but they'll just replace him. What should I do? All right, so you're caring about this fish. You really haven't given us all the facts, but you believe the fish is not being properly taken care of. The proper husbandry isn't being performed, okay? So the first poster, the first response is, donate a gorgeous bigger cube maybe, and he says, great idea. And then the next post is, yes, I agree. <coughs> that same person says, geez, do they at least offer a conditioner for this fish? I, I, don't, I don't know what water conditioner has to do with anything, but okay. I honestly don't think so. His back tail fin is very bit up too. Well, that just jumped to the top of the list. Poor fish. Now, the next post should have been mine, but apparently my post was deleted. My comment was deleted. Not all my comments were deleted, just my next comment. But luckily I took some pictures of it and sent it to my buddy Colin because I thought it was hysterical. So after the post that says, I honestly don't think so, his back fin tail fin is very bit up, I answered the original poster whose question is, what should I do? Here's my response. Mind your own business. Unless they ask for help, that is what you should do. Mind your own business. Now that probably was a little mm, harsh, straight to the point, honest. I don't, I don't know what you wanna call it. There are some other expletives, blah, 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 but he asked what you should do, and my opinion is you should mind your own business. If the person they're talking about says to the OP, hey, my water is cloudy in my bed tank and it looks like his tail is being eaten, what should I do? Boom, then you go in with the advice and you have to be careful how you give the advice. People get offended very easily because their skin is paper thin, not fat like me. You know what I'm saying? They get hurt, butt hurt easily like some of these people did. So, then we go on <coughs> to kind of talk about some other things and uh, I'm gonna delete that. The OP says, are you the dude who bashed the Facebook better group on YouTube and claimed fish don't have feelings? See ya. <laughs> that <laughs> was the laugh out loud emoji. And then someone else says, laugh out loud, did this hit a sore spot? And I responded to the original post about the better group, yep, that's me. By the way, you can't see any of this because it's been deleted. And then uh, the guy that says, um, did it hit a sore spot? I respond to no, but if someone is not asking for advice, why do you feel required to give it? 
And so, of course, it goes on and on, and my posts were deleted. But let's look at some other comments, shall we? And this person shows a gorgeous Koi Betta. The next person says, my Bettas don't have a filter and heater and are very happy. And then someone responds, okay, but were you aware that they are tropical fish and come from warm weather climates? And then someone with brain says, maybe he lives in a warm area. Bettas don't need a lot of water movement. They don't need filters as long as they have frequent water changes. Someone else supporting the no filter, no heater is okay as long as they're maintained properly. Then the original poster jumps in because he must be a heater salesman. You should still have a heater to regulate the temp. Warm areas get cold and they most certainly need some type of filtration. No, they don't need some type of filtration. Um, apparently they don't understand how bettas actually breathe. And two... Wherever they're from, the temperature fluctuates also. It's called nature. So, then somebody responds to uh, the person who's making sense about maybe he lives in a warm area and bettas don't need a lot of water movement. Don't need to get defensive. I didn't say anything rude. I just asked if he was aware. A lot of people are not. And Bettas not needing a filter because of water movement is just a huge excuse, honestly, because there are filters that have almost no flow at all. My head hurts. Do you know how filters work, person? It's the flow of water over the media. If there's no flow, it's very little filtration, but my head hurts. I mean, unless it's a sponge filter, but we, we don't need to get into that. They probably don't even know what that is. All right, so, Here's the point I'm trying to make, folks. Since my all my comments were deleted, well, of course I did throw some emojis in there. One of the comments shortly after I responded with mind your damn business was, uh, sometimes it's best just to mind your own business. And I, uh, I gave him the office uh, GIF where it says, exacto, I don't know if you know that one, but it's fantastic. You know, I'm a GIF king. Uh, and then, of course, oh, I don't agree when it comes to an animal who's suffering. And then, you know, this guy basically goes on to compare wild fish to this betta. And people got were like, we're not talking about wild fish. It really goes off the rails. But so this guy also brought up some of the points I brought up. Of course, again, my posts were deleted, but it says they, they were talking about the heater again. Who said it's in cold water? Do you know the temperature of the house it's in? Is it in cramped corners? Have you ever seen a better at a wholesaler? <clears throat> they just toss the fish around in a tiny bag with a few ounces of water. So, yeah. Now, here's the point I'm trying to make, folks. Oh, oh, wait, wait, I just found another meme. So, <clears throat> this person was talking about this guy who talked about, I'm going to call him Ray Ray, because that's his name, Ray Ray. And Ray Ray and someone with the initials SB um, were kind of arguing back and forth about why did you have to comment like that, blah, blah, blah. And so Ray Ray says, you commented on the opinion I gave. I didn't comment on your opinion telling you that you are wrong. The OP asked a question and I gave him my opinion. I gave my opinion to him. You absolutely could have minded your own business and not commented on my comment. And guess what? There would be no argument. And of course, I hit him with the oh snap meme because I love that meme. It's not a meme, it's a gif. Anyway, so here's the point I'm trying to make. You should probably read this because there's some good stuff here, but out of context, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I'm still looking for any of my comments, by the way. That's why I'm scrolling through here. But so, folks, here's the deal. If someone doesn't ask for, their, for your advice on your expert fish keeping knowledge, um, you probably don't want to give it because they probably don't want it. Now that's not 100% true, but especially on social media, right? I've seen posts, and I did a rant about this. I guess it was my first semi-rant. I don't even know if I can find it because it's old, but you know, there was a, a goldfish and an angel in a tank, and there was a question about like, hey, look at my new scape tank, and you saw the goldfish, you saw the angel, and people were like, oh my God, they were losing their minds. And that's
that's what prompted me to do the Goldfish and Angel Tank video series, which worked for me, because I had to get rid of duckweed, so. Anyway, Facebook rant. Yeah, here's another one. The best advice I can give you is, see if they want help. Hey, I noticed your water is cloudy. What's up? Maybe they say, I don't know, it's always like that. Or maybe they say, oh, I just cleaned my filter and it happened like two days later. Boom, bacterial bloom. If you just throw advice out at them, they're probably gonna tell you to hit the bricks, son. So, Facebook ran over. Check out michaelsfishroom.com. Check out supersickles.com. Go see my friends Scott and Liz who are live streaming tonight, Friday, I think at eight o'clock. And uh, hope to see you at the aquatic experience. See ya. Hi, fishy folks. <sighs> Hi, fishy folks, and happy Fry Fry Friday too. Hope everyone had a great week and has some good plans for the weekend. Before we get into the video, if you haven't done so already, why don't you go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Gently caress the notification bell so you know if I release a new video or go live or something. And when we're done, go ahead and check out uh, michaelsfishroom.com and uh, maybe check out supercichlids.com as well. You've heard me talk about Super Cichlids. It's where I get all my uh, fishy food from. Stand by, I'm getting a communique from my son. Even though he knows I'm trying to film a video. Hi, fishy folks, and happy Fry Fry Friday to you. Hope everyone had a good week. Has some great plans for the weekend. Really don't know what I'm going to do. I have about a thousand things on the to-do list in the fish room. The first of which will be cleaning up, but I digress. Before we... That was done. <clears throat> Hi, fishy folks, and happy Fry Fry Friday to you. Today we're going to be doing something a little different, but before I tell you about that, do me a favor if you haven't already, just take the biggest sledgehammer you can find. In fact, take whatever you can find, a pot, a pan, your little brother, whatever it might be, and smash the subscribe button. I mean that figuratively, not literally. That means don't actually smash it because you'll break something. But you get what I'm saying, right? You're picking up what I'm putting down. Are you drinking what I'm pouring? Are you eating what I'm cooking? Do you understand what I'm saying? When you're done with all that, trying to figure it out gently caress the notification bell so you know when I leave another video when I leave another video come on Mike you're an idiot 